Abby here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lululemon Pop It Off Crossbody. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So this is the Lululemon Pop It Off Crossbody in the color Neo Mint, Neo Mint. Now this is one of Lululemon's newer bags that was released in 2021. Some highlights about the Pop It Off Crossbody bag is that this bag is water repellent, it has a magnetic closure, it lies flat against your body when it's on and it has a very low profile look. It's easy to wipe clean, it can be worn as a belt bag or as a crossbody, and it's definitely very lightweight to wear. So. One thing about this belt bag that I want to let you know is that it's very long, uh, has a long strap that can accommodate a variety of different body sizes. So when I measured it fully extended, it goes as long as 56 inches and as short as 40 inches. So I think this would fit a variety of different body types, but if you're someone who's smaller, maybe a size zero or size two, I don't think you'll be able to wear it as a belt bag because at 40 inches, I think it's just a bit too big. I think you would be able to wear it perfectly fine as a crossbody. If... All right guys, so just showing you the inside of the bag. So, on the inside here, there is an internal kind of space right here. There is a pocket, and then there's also a zippered pocket. All right guys, I've grabbed a couple of items here, and I'm gonna show you what this bag can hold. The capacity of it, you know, what I typically put in my bag. So, I'd put my smartphone in here, probably a sanitizer, chapstick, I'd throw my mask in here, and looking at this right now, it's definitely not going to fit this in here as well and be flat. Alright guys, so right now I have my phone, my mask, sanitizer, and a chapstick in here, and now to zip it shut, and as you can see, this is what it kind of looks like from the side. You can definitely see kind of like lines of what's in there. Um, just from the fabric here. So it can definitely hold a good amount. Um, it can't hold as much as other belt bags, like the Everywhere belt bag, for example. But if you're looking for a bag that's like very low profile, very flat against you, and that's lightweight, this would be a great option for you. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me as a belt bag and crossbody. All right, guys, to wear it as a belt bag, you're gonna wanna make sure that it is adjusted to the proper length for your waist. I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit. And then you're gonna go ahead, open up the magnetic clasp. So you kind of just like pull it. And then put it around your waist. And the cool thing about this magnet is you can kind of just hold it near the area and it automatically clips it. So this is what it looks like as a belt bag. I do want to mention that the zipper here is also water resistant, so if you're caught in the rain or anything, your stuff is going to be dry inside of here. Now one thing about this bag is that it doesn't come in like very many color options. There was just one option I've seen the last couple months, and that is the Neo Mint. So if you don't like bright colors, um, <laughs> you're not going to be happy with this option. Alright, so now let's wear this as a crossbody. So we're going to go ahead and unclip it. Once again, the mechanism here is kind of like latch it can only go in one way so if you kind of just hold it it snaps it so to where it does a crossbody I'm gonna go ahead and fully extend this now I'm gonna clip it back in and this is what it looks like as a crossbody so you can decide if you want to wear it higher or lower what you want to do personally with this bag I do like wearing it as a crossbody better all right guys so if you were deciding between these two belt bags between the Everwear belt bag and the Pop It Off Crossbody, I would definitely recommend the Everwear Belt Bag to you for a couple of reasons. One, this is cheaper. It's $10 less than that. This goes for $38, this goes for $48. Um, you can hold a lot more in it because it is wider. And it just has a couple of different extra features. If you guys do want to see a more in-depth review on the Everwear Belt Bag, I have done that. So just go to the video coming up on the top right. So considering the price, the quality, the durability, the functionality, the ease of use, and the color. I would go ahead and give this a 7.7 .7 out of 10. And I do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are interested in getting the Pop It Off crossbody, I've gone ahead and left the link in the description below for you to use. If there's anything I missed on this review that you wanna know, 
make sure to comment below. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.